again, everyone. I'm Jeremy Jones, and welcome to another edition of the Coach's Corner. And what we're going to be going over today is aiming with English, probably the most controversial subject in the game uh, when it comes uh, from one player to the next, even one uh, coach to the uh, from one to the next. So. We went in the last episode about aiming with the stance. This is going to be essential to aiming with English, at least the way I do it. And I, I feel like it's the best way overall, and I'll explain why. Um, but in our last episode, we had the ghost ball up. We won't have that up here. Um, I learned it a long time ago. But one thing that we did learn in the last is about centering up the cue, which is all about the natural shot line, which is the tip in the center going towards what I think our contact point for the seven is. So now, when we talk about aiming with English, something I was told when I first started playing pool, 17 years old or so, um, one thing, you know, there wasn't a lot of teachers, so a lot of stuff was kind of hearsay, almost like, uh, you know, phantom coaches, I guess you could say, but one thing that they, I heard a lot was if you had a decent stroke and you knew how to aim, uh, you never had to worry about deflection. And believe it or not, even way back in the 80s, we used to talk about deflection. I know it's a hot topic in the last 20 years of pool. But so I was very curious what they meant by that because I just kind of aimed off instinct, you know, playing a lot of pool for, for a couple years. I, I felt like I aimed pretty well. Uh, but English was one that, you know, I wasn't concrete on. So I was fortunate enough to learn this at 19 years old, and I've never changed my aiming since, and that's, I hate to say, 33 plus years uh, since 19. So let's get at it, and let's learn something about aiming with English. So again, we learned the shot line in the last. I'm gonna do this how I usually do it, which is in more of a shooting position. And now, again, when we find the shot line, we're centering up the cue, which in my opinion is very important for aiming with English. So what we're gonna do here, again, is we're getting centered up. And the way I do this with English, and I'm gonna shoot this with like a low left English, and then I'll shoot it with a high right. Those are kind of the two that make sense. So I center up my body. And then once I find the shot line, I step into the shot line. I bring the cue back, like I talked about in the last episode. And now I'm gonna go down with low left English. Now what I want you to do is I want you to address the ball almost like don't even think about the English. Just set it up like center ball. And as you come down, right before you get on the cue ball, I want you to think about addressing the left English. And what we'll see is as we come down, the tip is on the left side of the ball where the butt of the cue stick is in the center. Now, the reason, in my opinion, that is so important is no matter where I put the tip on the side of the cue ball, high left, low right, and everything in between, is the butt of my cue stick stays in the center. And like I said, once those guys years ago said you don't have to worry about deflection. And what I mean by that is every shot I shoot, it does not matter what shot it is, I look at it like center ball just like the natural path. I don't worry about the English at all. I've just kind of learned if I keep the butt in the center of the cue ball, that's gonna make all the tip positions very comparable on getting to the target um, the same. So again, look at like no English. I pick the cue stick up, I come down on the ball, and right at the last moment, I don't come down to center and pivot, and I'll explain why in a moment, but very much at the last moment, I apply the English. That keeps the butt in the center. I'm gonna shoot this with low left. And then I never really have to worry about the deflection. Now, this is all depending on a fairly decent stroke. And uh, that one was okay. So I'm gonna do this again now with high right. I've set these balls up in the exact same position. So again, I'm gonna get in position like there's no English. I don't think about the English at all. I just get down, center up the cue stick, right as I'm coming down, right before, now I'm putting high right, the tips on the right with the butt in the center. And you can see, I aim the same for both of those shots with two different Englishes. Now there's some other things that we have to pay attention to. Um, and I'll get back to that pivot real quick. 
One thing I don't like about the pivot whenever you're down on the ball and pivoting out is the butt, it's very hard to keep the butt in the center. If I go down with center ball and I pivot to the left, you can see the butt goes to the right. Now, you can get away with this because you can learn to kind of swing that way and your mind kind of makes some adjustments. But overall, it's a little weaker ball because you're kind of coming across the cue ball instead of going more through the ball. And I think overall in pressure situations, it just doesn't seem to hold up. So I don't like the pivot too much. Um, the other things I want to talk about is whenever I come down, you can see I am in center ball here. You can see this little seam I'm on. So that little seam is something I shoot down every shot. And so if I come down with English, now you can see that seam is a little aimed for the left side of the ball. That's another reason why later, like say you come down with center, you're one of those types of players, and then on the last swing you go to the English. Not in love with that. Because, again, you're swinging across your seam, which creates resistance. And also, what's happening is you're changing the tip position on the fastest swing, on the most important part of the stroke. So try to come down with the English and stay idle. Um, there's a few other things that are very, very important. And this is probably the number one thing I like about um, showing someone this. And this is kind of a prover. So I'm gonna do it one more time. I call this checking your shot line with English. So I'm gonna come down with the low left again. You can see the tips in the, in the, on the left and the butts on the center. So now I want you to pivot back to center. Very important for you to finally squeeze the back hand and keep it in position. Pick up the hand go to center ball and you can see I'm aimed perfectly for center ball. So that kind of proves to you that I came down with a good shot line even though the tip was on the side. Now I'm going to show you one more thing about this and this is what kind of makes things controversial. So now let's say I'm going to show you two more things. So whenever some people think you can make a parallel shift with the cue stick, meaning if the tip's on the right you want to move the butt on the right. Now, the problem with that is once we start to apply speed, and I'm going to give you an example. So if I come down and I point the tip at the target with the tip on the right, the only way the tip at, on the, can be at the target with the tip on the side is if the butt's on the same side as the tip. So now I have the butt and the tip on the right side aimed at the contact point. So what you'll see is at a light speed, I can get away with this because I'm not putting much pressure on the cue ball at a light speed. But once I start to put a little pressure on the cue ball, say I had to put a lot more speed to move it, what happens is we get a ton of deflection because all the mass of the cue is on one side of the cue ball. So again, at a light speed, you can think this is a good way to aim. But once we start to add speed, you'll see I'll over de deflect the ball with the tip and the butt on the same side. So again, if we can, and I feel like it's a fairly foolproof way to aim, we center everything up. No matter where the tip's going, we think about no English while we're doing this. And as we come down, right at the last second, we add the English. And with this great camera work, you can see I'm nowhere near pointed at the target, but it is correct. So again, our last one, we learned how to aim with our stance, centering up the cue. That's going to lead towards great things when it comes to aiming with English. And I'll tell you, I'm convinced it's a more powerful ball that actually has less deflection. And the biggest part of it is you don't have to calculate. It just is the same as center ball. So I hope you enjoy it. Please toy with it, because I think you'll love it.